What's going on? Imagine if I did that, like Peter McKinnon. We're not doing that. Hope you guys are having a good one. Hope everything's going well, even though nine times out of ten, I know that is not the case. And hey, you got to keep on living, keep on thriving, keep on coming the better version of yourself every day and giving it a shot. But today's more or less been a been an interesting day to say the least. So uh, for the start of these videos, I want to let you guys in. I'm part of the U.S. military. Had a hard time saying that. But yeah, so I basically record these right after work and more or less an accountability thing. And I used to make simple audio podcasts to, uh, you know, document my progress. But I'd rather do video just because I feel like it's a lot better. It's more, you know, in person and tune. But um, it's been a day, to say the least. It's been something interesting. And we have a lot going on, especially in regards to photography. Uh, we have a few things we're supposed to edit. So there's going to be about two videos that need to be done and it's going to be posted on the page and it's just a part of the whole progress the whole i guess you could say uh yards of it but uh to more or less explain how things have been um these last few well last week was one of the hardest in my opinion one of the roughest sort of weeks um i just felt i was so confused as to uh why i just didn't have the energy anymore. Didn't have the energy for anything. Didn't have the energy for photography. Didn't have the creativity. Didn't have the um, discipline to continue it. And it really stumped me. It stumped me a lot just because I got all the equipment I wanted. And now, out of all the times, I'm not consistent. Make it make sense, you know? So part of me being in that realm had to do a lot with working in the military with the job that I'm in and there's nothing wrong with the job but it's the more or less idea of the job so to take you guys a little bit back when I wanted to join the military I wanted a job that honestly just had AC and I could sit at a desk and work and 19 year old Mendoza thought that was the greatest idea in the world which it could be you know because honestly it gives me more energy for this you'd think but man, I can't tell you, I guess it's a new job since I went from a grunt lifestyle work to then swapping over to an office lifestyle just because I've been postal for about two years and um, it hit me. I kept on, every time after work, I would get headaches. Uh, I just felt so stressed out for no reason. And um, being a part of therapy, I tried finding ways to solve it, tried finding ways to figure it out. And a lot of it turned to, you know, what is the root cause driving you towards those feelings of not wanting to do your own craft, do something that you actually wanted to do. And um, that all hit me all at once last week where, you know, a lot of things I would use to escape, which playing on my phone, uh, my addiction as well, and just trying to, you know, make myself feel better, even though I, I was using, you know, ha bad habits that were meant to escape. They weren't meant to progress me at all. And, you know, the biggest thing I only had was running. And keep in mind right now, so my rotator cuffs are injured. Um, I think I tore them. I'm not entirely sure. If I tore them, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to move them around and stuff. But I really damaged them. And the biggest thing that I was doing was calisthenics, which was full-blown calisthenics. And I was getting incredibly good at it. And once this injury came along, that also stopped. So there was a lot of little factors and I was feeling so down for myself. I was feeling so sorry about my situation. So sorry about, you know, why this happened to me, why me, all this, you know, I had that guilt trip, the woe is me mentality. And I had it, I remember in high school and I got rid of it. I was like, I'm never going to be like this. And I was slowly feeling it and it started rooting down to like, you know, my insecurities of, oh, nobody's texting me. Nobody's doing this. Nobody, you know, and then building that hatred. And I was like, uh, I gave myself a few days to complain. And on a Sunday, which was last Sunday, I sort of said, you know what? Well, technically Saturday, but I said, we got to do something. That's why I shaved. You know, I usually had a full, full grown beard and everything. And I was like, and even then people say, oh, you know, I'm going to shave. And then it's going to make me look like a different person act like, no nothing changed but the biggest thing that changed was once that happened i realized i was like all right let's, what else can we change to change the environment to change the feelings that we are currently projecting uh just towards ourself you know because 
your environment is what you make of it. You control everything, you know? And for the people that can't control their environment, that's even harder. So if you can't control your environment, take advantage of it. So I decided to move my room around. I tried finding a way. I was like, look, we have the equipment. I want to start shooting and let's change it to where we can make it look like a studio. So I have my, you know, background. Everything looks nice. Everything's very, you know, I have the desk in front of me that I've been trying to get this because my room is very small. Luckily that happened. Everything worked out and it's been a great, great addition. It's been a great change. And if I have anything clearly to say about that is it changed a lot of how I was feeling. You know, sometimes you just got to change your environment, change how you feel, maybe change how you act, not how you act, but change how you look. And, um, you know, a lot of that comes with also taking accountability, taking honest, like doing an honesty check on yourself. And that was the biggest thing. That's what I ended up doing. I had a lot of times where whenever I go on my runs in the morning and we'll go all into all that, on how I'm consistent with run running and everything. But I used to, you know, these honesty checks, I would do them after I do the run in the morning. Because when you, after you usually do like a run or something hard, you have this peace, this clarity because you did something really hard and everything's clear, you know, for only like a few set, a few minutes. But hey, it's enough. But that's when I realized today I was like, OK, what is the entire reason why we did not be the productive person that we were yesterday or that last week? And we're like, it's the job. It's because the moment I get off that off work, I try going automatically into doing my passion. When I came out of a crappy environment based off of how I presumed it. So don't get it twisted. You know, it's also on me as well. But I got out of that environment and I honest instantly tried going into something I loved. Like if that was going to work, it doesn't work that way. So we decided we're like, let's do something else. Let's change it up. Let's instead of going right to work, we're going to go take a walk. I went to go work out and do shoulder rehabs. And that gave me a good hour to clear my mind, not think of work, get rid of the headache, go eat, go relax, and then get started. And let me tell you, it feels so much better, 10 times better. So if that's something that you guys think is a great thing to do. And I'll make it into little, you know, caption points for the people that didn't want to watch the entire video, because I'll even add the... Hey, if you want to skip to where I have the exact solution for your problem, we'll do that. But for the ones that did listen, that did stay, appreciate you guys. <laughs> it's going to be a, a beautiful thing, I hope, with this that we can keep it consistent. And it's going to be simple stuff. It's just going to be me talking. And I know not many people are going to watch it. But at the same time, I know if I build this up and build this into something great, a lot of people are going to take a very good amount of gems from this. I'm going to close it off from there. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. Hope you guys have a positive week going forward or whatever time frame it is. And from the top of the world where boundaries still don't exist to the bottom of the depths where life still lives. Do you dare to dream? And also, do you dare to take the next step? I'll see y'all later.